What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming, bringing you guys a video on the hardest freaking thing in Destiny 2 right now. If you guys have tried it, you know it already, and if you haven't, you better thank God, because if you thought you were wasting your time, holy shit, this is hard. Now this video is going to be straight up tips, it's going to give you the blueprint, the mapped out strategy on how to beat the prestige edition of the Nightfall, which is at 300 light. Before we get into the video, the Bungie Foundation Emblem Giveaway is still going for this video. All you have to do is like and comment down below anything about Destiny 2. Actually, matter of fact, just tell me your favorite exotic weapon and we'll call it good. Make sure you're a subscriber because if you get picked, you will get directly DM'd. And with that DM, we'll give you that code. It's that simple. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into this video where I'm going to give you guys the strategy, the tips. Now, if you're watching this video a little bit premature, you still got to get your light up. I recommend that the best of the best players should not go into this unless you are at least 285 light. If you really want a freaking challenge, do it at 280 light. If you're below that, now is not the time, but this video will give you a lot of information on not only the rewards of the prestigious Nightfall, but also how to beat it. So let's get into real quick what you get from it. I mean, you know, positives. Let's not just talk about how hard it is. Let's talk about the positives. So what you get from it is you get this cool ass looking aura on top of your head. If anybody played Destiny 1, you know this because when you beat the Nightfall in Destiny 1, you would have this little glowy thing above your head, which will give you a buff for the week for pretty much everything you did XP wise. It's like a pop tart code. It's like a full on week pop tart code that doesn't expire. That's essentially what it was, you know, double XP for whatever you did. Now for this Destiny 2, it does not do that. But it gives you a freaking cool ass aura that does absolutely nothing for you. But it tells the freaking world that, hey, look, I got this glowing ass shit on top of my head. That means I beat the Nightfall in prestigious edition. Now, this won't be hard, I think, after the raid and trials because everyone's going to have amazing gear above like 300 light, probably up to 350. But what makes it crazy is that right now people are beating this shit right now it's so nuts so essentially obviously it's really really hard this nightfall in general is kind of crazy now what makes this even more worse? oh by the way you do get a cool looking emblem it's like the more risk the more return or some crazy shit like that it's like three swords it looks pretty cool but the crazy thing about this is that you cannot change your weapons or your subclass once you drop down in the nightfall it locks all of your equipment for you and your whole fire team so what's even harder is that you need to make sure that you have ample solar void and arc because all of these enemies they have shields or most of them do and you got to penetrate those shields and on top of that you're on a timer for the nightfall which is already hard enough especially if you're doing the rat pack little sidearm quest challenge where you have to finish the nightfall with more than five minutes remaining i made a video on that as well but it's crazy. So real quick backtrack. If you need help on leveling up, I made two videos where it pretty much gives you the most fastest, easiest way to level up as close to 300 as possible, right? Now we're all making our way up there, right? Some people are doing multiple characters. That's a good idea as well. Go ahead and get another character, same type of character. If it's a warlock, get another warlock, hunter, get another hunter. Same thing for Titan. That gives you more exotic loot chances, more milestones, more flashpoints, you know, luminous engrams. I made a video on that as well. So you guys can check those out. So you got the blueprint on how to get your level up. Now, what about this strike? There's three main parts of the strike, right? There's a beginning, a middle, and an end. The middle is where the tanks are. The beginning is the whole, you know, getting to the tanks and, you know, the beginning room and all that. So you start off with like void in the first room with a little bit of arc. Then the next part, you have a lot of arc and a little bit of solar. And then it goes forward. Now, this whole time as it's going, you have pretty much the map rotating on the power. So you have, you know, void power, solar power, arc power. And it'll say on the bottom left of your screen, which one it is so since your equipment is locked what we did was we had me be a solar and an arc because your primary or your whatever kinetic weapon cannot have any like arc solar void so what we had was me to multi-tools you can have you know whatever powerful weapon you like using you know have that up there and for the middle spot what i had was like an arc and then for the last spot i had like a solar so what you guys can do is split it up 
Now, another good thing about this is your subclass matters a lot too. So an Arc Warlock super, it will really clear out the adds and it does a ton of damage in DPS. So that's a good thing. You know, maybe having a Titan bubble would help a lot as well. And plus that's void for grenades and extra stuff. And then you have your Hunter, which would most likely be on void as well, which would be Night Stalker because you really wouldn't be able to use any of the other supers. Maybe the Golden Gun I could see, but you know, you know how it is, right? It's PvE. You guys know the basics from Destiny 1. So, essentially, that's what you want to do. And then you want to offset it. And, you know, make sure everybody doesn't have Void or everybody doesn't have Solar or everybody doesn't have Arc. Make sure you split it up and have one of each. You want to have one Solar, one Arc, because you can only have two. And then maybe offset it with your subclass. So, if you're an Arc Warlock, have Void and Solar, right? See what I'm saying? You're a Void Hunter, have Solar Arc. You know what I'm saying? So pretty much mix and match, have the most powerful gear that you can and go forth and just kill everything team shot and make sure that you guys can get to the final boss with ample time because you're going to need it. You know, I wish you guys the best of luck. I really hope that these basic tips helped you guys out. Go and get it done. You will get it done the following week, but getting it done the first week is what everybody cares about. If you need help with anything Destiny related, look in the description below. We help with everything you can imagine and we do take reservations. So get you guys in line to get help. It's that easy. Trials, raids, whatever it is. Connect with us on all of our social media as well. Everything is in the description below. If you need a clan for TKO Nation, that's in the description as well. On PlayStation and Xbox, where on both consoles will also be on PC. Thank you guys so much for the love and support for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. If you're new to the channel, it's never too late to join the family. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Have a blessed day. Keep the grind going. Some more Destiny videos coming out tomorrow with the best tips and tricks and the best crucible setups that's another video i'm bringing to you guys so i'll see you guys in the next one peace out